right now what we're doing is celebrating the fact that of all of the videos that we received for the climate change call to action from students around the entire world, yours were the top three videos. Yay. Very big yay. I mean, that was incredible. That's great. I hope it made you feel very good because your videos were very good. And what we'd like to do today is find out a little bit about you and show your videos um, to the whole world on the global innovation field trip. And they'll be, and we'll show them on social media too this week, and we'll have them on our website for everybody to look at. We'll, they'll be in the part of the website that'll show the January global innovation field trip. They'll be right at the top so that when everybody comes onto the page to look at all the videos from the event, yours will be up there first. So we're very excited to get this started. So um, I am Julie Shively for the three of you, just so that you know, I'm the founder of Innovation World and the co-founder of the Global Innovation Field Trip. And Celeste, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself real quick while Jake is doing what Jake is doing. Okay, hello, my name is Celeste and I'm the Liaison and Marketing Officer for the Institute of Inventors and Innovators. We're based here in Johannesburg in South Africa and we are like the Association and the Inventors Club for inventors. We've got a very nice young inventors group that's going called Smart Makers. So we hope that maybe you'll drop into our website one or two of these days and you'll see what's there. We are going to be putting up your video links on our website as well so that our public can actually see how clever you've been. And I congratulate you all for being here today. Jake? Ah, my name is Jake Mendelson, and I am an engineer. I am also a school teacher, and I have been telling my students that it is their future, that uh, it is not my future. My future is behind me, but it's their future coming up, and this is why it's very important. So I was very, very glad to see your call to actions, because you are trying to get people to help make your future a better future and taking responsibility for that. Um, unfortunately, you all live in different places because I'm going to be showing your videos to my students, but I would also love to have you come and personally talk to my students. I don't think that's going to happen, but they're certainly going to be watching this video and your videos in my classroom. So thank you very, very much. I think they can zoom right into your classroom <laughs> if you have the technology in your classroom. Uh, but my students are not going to want to wake up at uh, oh. six o'clock in the morning <laughs> to do this. <laughs> yes, that's probably true. All right. So um, now I'd like to have each of you introduce yourself. Um, let's go ahead on my screen. Kayla, you are lined up first or Kyla. I'm sorry. So Kyla, why don't you tell us who you are, where you are, maybe what school you go to and what grade you're in. Okay, my name is Kyla Folk. I am in third grade at Charles Huber Elementary and in Huber Heights, Ohio. I just woke up right about now and <laughs> I'm very excited to be on here with you guys today. And is Ohio in Canada? No, Ohio is in the United States of America. Very good. Thank you, Kyla. Elijah, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? My name is Elijah. I'm third grade and I'm nine years old, but, but I'm going to be turning 10 this year. At June 17, okay. All well, this is what, well, my hobbies are... Also, these are my hobbies. Number one, these I also have a gaming console, and it's called the Nintendo Switch. I don't play much about with that, but sometimes I do if I'm allowed by my parents. I've got that on twenty on the Christmas of twenty twenty two, and I I was so proud to have that. I can't stop thinking about it. I was very proud. Of it. Okay. And I've also read about that I've got this book 
You may be surprised, but it's real. I have read all about it into its pages. And, and, and also, Where, where are you, Elijah? Oh, yes. I'm from the Philippines right here. It's right now night right here in the Philippines, and it's a bit rainy. And I hope you don't hear the background noise. No, it sounds fine. One last question for you. I think you're homeschooled, yes? Yes, I'm homeschooled. What grade are you in? What grade are you, What or what is the grade equivalency? I'm grade three. Very good. Thank you, Elijah. Sam, Hello. can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Can I share my screen for my introduction? Yes, you can you do that for a couple of minutes. But before that, will you tell us a little bit about you, unless that's what it does? Is that what's on your screens? Yeah. Sure. OK, yeah, sure, you can share your screen. OK, let's give me a second. Um, I'm Samuel Joseph G.L. Cantara, 12 years old from the Philippines. I'm currently grade 7, at the, studying at the Catholic Filipino Academy Homeschool, a member of the Homeschool Association of the Philippine Islands. I'm a member of the STEM Geeks Club under teachers Joy Pavico and Ray Halepo, where we conduct virtual innovative field trips, like in the outer space, underground the Galapagos Islands, and under the sea. My video is also part of the West Philippine Sea Expedition, where we identify problems in the West Philippine Sea, like trash. Our team leader, Yuri, designed a, um, our team leader, Yuri, designed a robotic arm for under the sea cleanup. Mermaid Sophie, after the sea tour guide, Jake discovered the different species of sea turtles. And I, Sam Alcantara, an environmental engineer, advocated the rush, advocated guard, oh wait, advocated the use of rush guard for coral bleaching. Um, um, advocated the, the use of rush guard to prevent coral bleaching caused by harmful chemicals found in sun blocks and sun. Very good, thank you, Sam. All right, I'm gonna try to successfully play all these videos. <laughs> I think that the world has been waiting to see these. And so let's see if I can figure this out. Give me just a second, okay. I'm gonna share my screen. I don't do this nearly as good as Mr. Jake does it, but I try. And I'm going to go with Elijah first because Elijah is first on the screen here for me. Oops, hold on. I can't recall if I hit the sound button in, and we definitely want to hear these. Oh, I didn't. That would not have been good. My name is Elijah from the Philippines. My parents bought me this book and reading it i wanted to become a scientist a president just so to help our planet but i remember that saint Therese of lisieux said that we can help in our own little ways like us children big brother come on let's play coming oops don't forget to turn off the air con don't forget to turn off the lights. Why? To conserve energy and to reduce light pollution. Take short showers and if it's not really needed, better yet, turn off the electric heater. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. You can turn these into pencil holders. Not knowing the consequences of climate change is a significant risk to society. And these consequences could affect different parts of the world in different ways. Do your part now. Planet Earth is our home. Let's save it. Good job, Elijah. 
All right, let's go to Kyla's. Disposing of my water bottle. Do you have a reason not to? I might have a few. Dozen. First of all, it releases harmful chemicals such as hydrochloric acid and sulfur dioxide into the air. These chemicals have been shown to potentially cause cancer. So while you may think you're doing the world a favor by not throwing it on the ground, you're actually doing it an even worse disservice. So you're saying I should recycle it, of course. Lots of energy. Recycling one pop can can save enough energy to power a TV long enough to watch a movie. Um, okay. That's how you recycle. Now, are you gonna help the Earth be healthy? Very good, Kyla. And Sam. Hi, I'm Sam, an environmental engineer studying the corals in the West Philippine Sea. One of the problems I noted is coral bleaching. Did you know that sunblock and sunscreen contain chemicals that can bleach coral? These chemicals accumulate in coral tissues disrupting their reproduction and growth cycle. As you can see here in the control, it changed into a deep color while the others didn't. The sunblock and sunscreen still absorb some UV rays. The most effective is the rash guard. My recommendation is to swim, meaning stop using sunblocks and sunscreens. Wear rash guards to improve coral health and make the marine ecosystem healthy and safe. It's a win-win situation. Plus, it's way cheaper. Very good, Sam. Very good. So, <clears throat> let's see. Kyla, was that your little brother that was in the video with you? Yeah, that was my little brother, Caden. Yeah, He's he did. He's asleep it. right now, but yeah, that was him. The, the star is asleep? How could we let that happen? That was really good. I think one of the things that I can see throughout all of your videos is the amount of empathy that you have. And empathy is really important and it drives many young, it drives many innovators, not just young innovators, but I think especially in young innovators, empathy is what drives innovation for them. Um, Elijah, what was the toughest thing about making your video? What was hardest? Well, compressing it. Making it smaller, shorter, you mean? It's hard. To, it's hard to keep it under a minute, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because you've got a lot of things to say. Sam, Samuel, what's what was your greatest challenge when you were creating your video? Um, it was very hard to make the video to one minute because it used to be tr a three minute video, but I had to reduce it to one. You did a good job. It doesn't seem like you left anything out. I mean, I know that I know it's really hard to do that. I have to do the same thing when I'm editing some of my videos. But the, the fact is, our world is very fast. and People want short little snippets of information. And you did a very good job of quantifying all that you did within that minute. What do you think, Jake? Actually, uh, it's very easy to make something very, very long. It's very hard to make something short. Um, 
and the fact that we limited them to a minute was very challenging because there's so much people want to say and do. So congratulations to all of you. Um, just so you know, not all of the entries were a minute. We had some that went on for quite a while, right? And that wasn't part of the rules. So you you stuck to the rules and you did it right. And it was very impressive. Thank you. I'd like to say what was interesting about Sam um, is that I didn't know about coral bleaching. And so it was a whole new um, subject that I could read up a little bit about. And I also didn't realize that um, sunscreen and creams add to the problem. So it was a very interesting, besides a call for action, it was a very interesting subject that you chose. So thank you for that. Well, that was the important part. You know, it's a call to action and you can't just give people a bunch of boring facts. You have to get them motivated and that's what you did. Every one of these told a story and it was like, as Julie said, it was a empathy. There was a, a real person connected to it. And, and that made, you know, something people could relate to. Yeah. And I, and in Sam's, he was wearing the, um, what do you call it? Some kind of guard. Rash guard. Rash guard. I had never heard that term before, but I know what you're talking about. So he was actually demonstrating it. In Elijah's video, he was actually demonstrating each of his calls to action. And Kyla was doing the same thing. I mean, she was, <laughs> well, her brother was demonstrating what not to do, but she caught him and stopped him. And so I think not only were That's they- That's basically to, what he does all the time, not things to do. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> So they weren't just calls to action, they were actually demonstrated calls to action. So I think that that's really what helps yes. them rise to the top. So I congratulate you all very much. And I hope your, your classmates and your teachers and your parents and your siblings are very proud of you. And that you find something very fun to do with your $100 that you won. Well, I just want to let you know that your videos will be shown all over the world to students all over the world. And I am sure that they will see what you have done and that will make a difference in their lives. And they will start to uh, emulate and start to think about some of the things that you're doing. It's very good. You are role models. Elijah, you have your hand up. Thanks, Gift Corp, for giving us for giving children the chance to to speak up to the world, to tell them what they're doing wrong and what they should do right. And I'm inspired by this book called One Hundred Things to Know About Saving the Planet. Reading this, that's what I said in the video. I really want to become a scientist or a president, but. As I remember, St. Therese of Lisieux has reminded us all people that we can help in our own little ways, children, adults, and adolescents. Elijah, on that book, there is the name of the person who wrote the book, okay? And there is also, it's somewhere on the book, and it's also the book publisher, the person, the company that published the book. You should write them a letter and tell them how you use their book as an inspiration for your video and what you did with it. I think they would be very, very interested in watching your video and, and hearing what you have done. I'm totally serious. Write them a letter and say, I just want you to know how you inspired me to, to go on. And we will be glad to have you know, the people and the publisher talk to us directly about, about what we've done and how their book changed the world. Thank you for the idea, Jake. I really liked that yeah. idea. Write them a letter. Write them a letter and tell them. <clears throat> Use your hands to write it. That's more impressive than typing it, too. <laughs> you know, Mr. Jake recently told that to another student. He told him uh, to, to write a letter to his favorite person, and he wrote a letter to Neil deGrasse Tyson. Do you know who that is? Neil deGrasse Tyson? 
Oh, he's pretty famous over here in the United States and lots of other places around the world. And he's a scientist. And, and, and this young man, his name is Sid. Sid wrote to Neil deGrasse Tyson and he got a response back and he got to go meet him and he got to ask him questions. So it can happen. It's true. Along those same lines, Samuel, you could always write to a manufacturer of the rash guard and explain, you know, I have, I've seen those swim where, um, I'm sure they're called something else other than just swimwear. I've seen those. My um, grandson has that type of swimwear to wear to the pool, um, but never have I seen it advertised as to a way to save the environment. And uh, maybe that's something that they need to know and understand that that's another way they could be sharing that or something else they can share with the world about their garments is that it does help save the planet. So you might want to reach out to them as well. And Kayla, while we're reaching out to people here in the United States, there is a big push about plastic. And um, the, the New York Times, which is a big newspaper, has a big article on, on plastic. They had it just this week. And you might want to write to the New York Times and tell them that you made this video about recycling plastic as a call to action. I, I'm totally serious. Uh, write to the New York Times, the editor, and tell them what you have done and uh, that you're you know, going along with how important they think plastic recycling is. And that should be shown on your district website all over the place, too. I'm going to look and see if Huber Height puts it up there. I'm in Ohio, too. So maybe I can come out and see you in the whole class sometime. So next, what I have to do or what we have to do, I shouldn't say have to. That sounds like a chore. We are excited to kick off the next call to action. So the last call to action that the three of you addressed was the climate change call to action. But now we have a brand brand new one starting right this minute. And it is called, let me share my screen. Oh, I don't even think I have it up. Hold on just a second. Give me a second and we will show you what the new call to action is. I have to get it on my screen first. I would do a drum roll, but I'm no good at drum rolls. All right. Elijah, do you have a question? I want to say, I am I know how to make different kinds of sounds, especially drum rolls. All right, give I me do a one for you? Give me a drum roll. Okay. <laughs> oh, very good. All right, here we go. It's the life below water call to action. So the climate change call to action aligned with the United Nations SDG 13 and the life below water aligns with SDG 14. And you could go to the innovationworld.org website or you could go to globalinnovationfieldtrip.org either one of those and click on the life be below water call to action and learn all about it. This challenge is going to run from today. The deadline is March 18th. So you have to have videos made, get the submissions in by March 18th. Oh, excuse me. And um, students, top three videos will also earn $100 and be invited to the April 15th, 16th Global Innovation Field Trip, just like you guys were. What do you think about that? Cool. I, think, I think it's a very important topic and I think that we're gonna have some great, uh, great presentations. Um, I would like just to comment, if you, when you saw that screen, there was a video um, and that's a young woman who is explaining how to make good call to action videos. 
So if you're watching this and you say, what do I do? Go to the website, go to that, watch that video. Um, she outlines all the things that you might want to put in your videos and how to make them work. And it's excellent. Yep, that was Miss Alira that did that for us. All right. So, so, so Julie, I'm sorry. So they, they upload the video. Is there anything else they have to do? They have to complete the online registration and that's where they actually upload the video. And they want to stay approximately one minute? Oh yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's where you were going with this. Yes, they need to stay under, I say sit, stay under one minute. That helps get you under that one minute. So 59 seconds is perfect. 50, you know, 58 seconds is better. It's just as long as it's under 60 seconds or under, that, that makes us happy. And one of the reasons is there are some social medias that only take a video 60 seconds or less. And we wanna be able to share it as far as we can and as wide as we can. So we want you to make sure the video is the right length. Um, the video should be um, shot upright like this, not like this, if you can shoot it upright. Um, it should clearly have a problem identified and for this next one it's about life underwater so the problem should relate to um our water whether it's oceans or rivers or any other kind of water and it should have a real call to action steps that can be taken to help solve that problem and it ha it, it really should be something that's doable as well i mean um a call to action that's not doable would be telling people, okay, everyone in the world now has to go out and buy a whole recycling company to, you know, make sure all of their stuff gets recycled every time they use it. I mean, that's not very doable, but things like recycling your bottle are doable, turning the lights off like Elijah was talking about and the air conditioner off before you leave your room. Those are doable things. And Samuel's um, suggestion of buying the rash guard where all those are easy steps that people can take and your call to action be, doesn't have to be easy, but it has to be something doable. And this is, this is open to individuals or teams? It is, it's open to individuals and teams of up to three students. And, um, and all of the participants need to be somewhere in grades K through 12, kindergarten through the end of high school, whatever that means in your area. And- um, they, they also have to be living on the planet Earth. Nobody- They from only have to be living on the planet Earth. We are not accepting any Martians at this time. We we just don't care about other planets. This is the planet we care about. So you have to be living on the planet Earth, but anywhere on the planet. Anywhere on the planet. All right. Very good. Kyla, okay. I know you're going to go take a nap. I would right now if I were you. For Kyla, it's only 630 in the morning. She had to get up pretty early to come to come with us in, on this journey. So Thank you, all three of you. Enjoy your earnings. You did a great job. We're very proud of you. And we're excited about sharing your videos with the whole world. And we can't wait to see what comes not only from you, but from all the other students around the world. I'm sure we'll have even more and more exciting videos coming up. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Celeste, you. for sticking with us on this. Say again, please. Thank you for sticking with us on this presentation. No, no, I'm very, very pleased. I can also say goodbye now. So thank you, Judy. Thank you, Jake. And thank you very much for the lovely videos that I saw. So um, good luck if you're going to enter the next one as well. Good luck to you all. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Judy. Cheers. Bye.